the weights of the chips in these bags are approximately normal with this mean and with this standard deviation. So if you're selecting one bag, the probability that the weight is less than 16 ounces, that can be found just using a z-score and the normal density function. So I want the probability that the weight is less than 16 ounces. So I'm going to change that into a z-score by taking that 16, subtracting the mean, dividing by the standard deviation. That will give us a z-score of negative 1.25. But then I want the probability. I want all of the area under the normal density function that's less than negative 1.25. That is my upper boundary. So the lower boundary that you would want to use in the normal CDF command or in the shade norm command would be negative 10. That would be sufficient here. So here is the normal CDF command. Lower boundary of negative 10. Anything lower than that would be fine. The upper boundary then is the negative 1.25. And this will give us our likelihood of 0 0.106. Again, you could round that to 0 0.11 if you wanted to. That will change your answer slightly to part B, but that would be perfectly fine. Because in part B now, you're going to recycle your answer from part A. That's an important idea here. So what is the probability that out of selecting 10 bags, that exactly two of the bags have a total weight that's less than 16 ounces? Well, X is the number of bags with a total weight less than 16 ounces. So either the total weight is or isn't less than 16 ounces. There is a fixed number of trials. We have calculated the probability of success. And as long as those trials are independent, then we can use a binomial distribution with 10 trials and a success probability of 0 0.106 in order to find our likelihood. The probability that we want is exactly 2, so x equals 2. That's a binomial PDF command. Second variables. Binomial PDF is the command that's used to find one probability. The CDF command is used to find and to add multiple prob probabilities together. Here is the binomial PDF command. There are a total of 10 trials. The success probability we found is 0 0.106. And I'm interested in exactly two successes. 0 0.206. So last part of the question then, we are looking at a combination then of random variables. So we are shipping these bags of chips in boxes. Each box has six bags. So the empty boxes have a mean weight of 10 ounces and a standard deviation of 0 0.05 ounces. So I want the mean and the standard deviation for the total weight of the box containing six bags of chips. So my total weight includes the box and then one, two, three, four, five, six bags of chips. So the mean for the total is literally found by just combining all of those means together. Here is the mean for the box, 10 ounces. Each of the bags of chips has a mean of 16.15 ounces. If you add all of those up, you get 106.9 ounces. And then for the standard deviation, for the standard deviation, again, I need to deal with the standard deviation of the box. That's the 0 0.05, but I need to square that to form a variance. And I want to combine that then with these six variances also, the 0.12 squared for the first bag of chips, the 0.12 squared for the second bag of chips. I want to do that for all six bags of chips. Of course, you might not want to enter that into your calculator. So you need to take the square root of the 0.05 squared plus six of the 0.12 squares. It's really important though that you square the 0.12 first in order to make the variance, then you can multiply by six, then you can add this is the variance, the square of the standard deviation for the box, and then take the square root. So the standard deviation then is 0.3 ounces.